Queensland MP Lou O'Brien has quit the Nationals party room over a stoush with the party's leader but will continue supporting the Prime Minister. His decision is a fresh blow to Nationals unity after last week's leadership spill. Let's go live now to political reporter Eliza Edwards. Eliza, Mr O'Brien's resigned in protest after the failed bid to oust Michael McCormack. That's right, Annalise. Confirmation this morning that Lou O'Brien has quit the Nationals party room. Essentially, as you say, a statement of protest to Michael McCormack's leadership. He will, however, remain a member of the Queensland LNP. He'll still sit in the coalition party room and support the government on legislation, but may decide to cross the floor on some issues. Now, I've just spoken to Senator Matt Canavan, who is a senior member of the Nationals party room and says he's trying to ensure that Lou O'Brien remains part of the team. Another person who uh, has a bit to say on this is Barnaby Joyce. He refused to comment on Lou O'Brien's decision on his way into Parliament this morning, leaving it up to a senior government minister to address the situation. As I said, leaving it up to Senior Government Minister Matthias Cormann to address this situation. In relation to uh, Lou O'Brien, as far as uh, the government is concerned, there is, uh, there is no change. Uh, he continues to serve as a member of the LNP. Uh, he continues to sit uh, in our uh, joint party room uh, and he continues to support the government. Um, so business as usual. This latest development is political fodder for Labor, which claims that Barnaby Joyce is laying the groundwork for a second leadership challenge against Michael McCormack. The decision of Lou O'Brien to sit on the crossbench is just another example of the chaos that has beset the coalition. A coalition without a plan for the economy, without a plan for energy or climate change, without a plan for the nation's future. And again, is them being obsessed by their internals. And this is just six months after the last election. Imagine what they'll be like over the coming two years. Intriguingly, it looks like one fewer vote if there will be a another challenge. So an interesting tactic in that sense. But Barnaby Joyce denying, threatening to form some sort of voting block against government legislation if it comes to that. Yeah, that's right, Tom. The ministerial reshuffle last week was really the catalyst for this second wave of tensions. Barnaby Joyce lashing out at Michael McCormack for not promoting any of his backers, but he is denying that he'll form any kind of block with his supporters to vote down government legislation. And to prove it, he's released his exact text message to the Prime Minister telling Sky News that uh, this message reads, Sorry, Scott, but Michael picking only those who voted for him is foolish as it leaves little room for ownership to the team and as such makes things precarious. Things are certainly precarious for Michael McCormack and the Prime Minister as well with this nationals turmoil threatening to overshadow the government's agenda again this week. Tom and Annalise.